Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing all of you a better way of doing your green screens inside of DaVinci Resolve 18. So the goal of this tutorial is going to be to remove the green screen background and to replace it with a video clip background of our choice. And we'll be doing that using the chroma key or node inside of the Fusion page. So first off, your green screen clip is eventually going to end up on Video Track 2 if you want to put another video under it on Video Track 1. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this up there in advance. We'll move this beach scene over as the background later, but I'll just leave it here for right now so we can see when our green screen is removed, we'll just have a black screen behind it. So with this clip selected, we're going to go over to the Fusion page and we're going to need to add in one single node here between media in and media out. So with media in selected, right click on the line in front of it, go to add tool and then down to Mate and then chroma here. So this chroma key or node is going to let us select a color range and a luminance range, and it's going to remove everything from the screen that matches that range. So the quickest way to add to the color range, which I'll expand right here, is to drag boxes around the green areas on the screen. So if you left click, hold, and drag a box, it's going to be selecting all of the pixels in here and creating a color range from that. So when you let go, you can see a lot of the green is removed. Our ranges are created and we can keep adding to those color ranges by dragging more boxes. So I'm going to control middle mouse wheel to zoom in, and then I'm going to left click hold and drag boxes. I'm just going to keep doing this until most of the green is removed. So definitely go for these free hanging areas, which are just very easy to grab and use that to add to the filtering range. So I'll just keep doing that until we get all of that. So now the tricky areas remaining are going to be everywhere that surrounds our person. Since the colors between the green screen and the person are going to kind of blur together here, you can see the green color spilling over. We'll handle that a bit more in a moment. So you're going to need to do a few more selections to get closer to the person's body. Uh, the closer you can get it, the better, but just make sure that you don't accidentally drag a box around the skin or the hair or you want to like that. You can always control Z to go back a step and let's just get it really nice and pretty close. It doesn't need to be perfect because we'll have a couple other settings to add on top of this, uh, but the closer generally the better. So I'm going to zoom in and just make it a very thin line around our person and also grab these areas and that should be probably good for now. So next we can use the soft range and increase this, which is going to kind of dig at the edge and blur it a little bit. So I can set this quite high, but don't go too far. If you go all the way to 0 0.2, you can see uh, this may start removing up uh, some of the skin areas. So lower it down until it doesn't affect the body in any way. Now this would probably be the point if I was just using any random green screen method uh, that we would get to for removing the background. Uh, but we have another tool to go on top of this, which is the spill removal. And we can find that in the inspector going over from chroma to image. So here we're going to change the spill color to green because we're using a green screen. So the spill color that's going over the body is green, obviously. So green and then spill method. We're going to need to incrementally go down this list until we get a good enough removal that it's hard or impossible to tell that there was a green screen before. So start with rare and you'll see that a lot of the remaining green goes away, but quite possibly not all of it. So you can go down another level to medium. In this case, the spill was a little bit funny looking. So I'm going to drag another box here. So I'm going to go now to medium to try to remove more of the green. It is a little bit funny looking right here. So I'll go one step up again. Well done. And when we switch to well done, that actually corrects a lot of the issues here. But I've been finding that if you change it all the way down to burnt, uh, although the green is gone, this goes a step too far and it really messes with all the colors on the screen. So in this case, well done is definitely the option to go with. You can see there's very, very little green remaining from our original image. So now what you can do is just do a final check going through your video clip, making sure the green screen is removed. Uh, either completely or for the most part. And it's not removing anything important from the actors on the screen. Uh, so now we can add in the background. I'm gonna go to the edit page. Uh, we already have the beach scene on video track one. So we can just kind of drag this over here and whatever we wanna use as the replacement background is just gonna be right there. 
And now we can go ahead and hit play, test it out, and make sure that everything looks good. So that's pretty much going to be it for this tutorial on how to do green screen inside of DaVinci Resolve 18 using the chroma key or node. I've been Chris. I hope all of you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching to the end, and I will see all of you in my future video content.